Welcome back. It's another episode of the podcast. It's a big one today. We have the original Maxi with us. Welcome to the show, Maxi. Yeah, thank you, man. What's up, everybody? Yeah. What's up? What's up? Thank you for and showing up. This is our what fourth. I have no idea. Fourth chosen, yeah. the one man show. Yeah, for the one. Yeah, the, the one, one man, man show. Correct. I have yeah. no idea what episode. I'm too. I've, I'm such a busy. You're man too slow. I just, the head. I, okay, maybe I can't count, but that's fine. And you're late for today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I am late, but there was somebody downstairs with me to keep me company. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Our very own Maxi here. Mm. What's up, Maxi? What's going on? Uh, right now life's pretty good. Mm. You know, we 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 get at one yesterday or no. No. Yo, you guys were supporting Indonesia. Uh, <laughs> supporting <laughs> Indonesia. No, supporting Singapore no. against Indonesia. Yes, we are. Yeah. But I w- we were watching one through one FC through the YouTube YouTube live here from ah, the gym. I see, I see, I see. And I think yesterday was a good day for Singapore. You know, we got why ah? Singapore <laughs> won but against uh Indonesia. Huh? Soccer. So MMA we got. Oh, we're talking about soccer now. Oh yeah. yeah. One zero, right? Yeah, one zero. Finally we won yeah, yeah, a good yeah. team. I think Indonesia is quite a good team to win over, right? It's okay, I guess. Mm. You know. It's but okay. then like Indonesia, all the players. Haris Harun Scott, he's my senior in school. Kudang Fan Garam, boy. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Smok- <laughs> smokers, so But I think their fans were quite were quite mean. I think they had a banner which says uh, Are you ashamed of your juniors? Because their juniors were pretty good, I think. So they had a huge banner at the back. Are you are you Ashamed of, of what your juniors have achieved or something like that. The Indonesian juniors? Yeah. Hmm. I think they, the juniors were trashing a lot of other teams. <coughs> right. But but Maxi was... You were at 1FC? Yes, yes, yes. How was it? It was a good show, man. Uh, one of my coaches is fighting. He won. Right. Yeah. And was it a Thai guy? Yeah, one of the Thai guy. What's his name again? Uh, we call him Kru Rong. Uh. Kru, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. so it's a really, really nice guy. He's fighting even at age 41. Shit, that's so all. that's yeah, yeah. That's you know he have age, but he still he still got it. So uh, it's good to see him coming back and uh, winning. How did he do it? Is he like training every day and working or what? No, he's training and teaching. So yeah. that's hard to juggle, man. I think you will know that the best. You know, it's like yeah. how do you like juggle a fight camp and while teaching? I don't know. I don't know how yeah. you handle that. I mean, you are hungry almost all the time. Then mm. sometimes simple simple things just piss you off. Correct. And correct, then like correct. you have to train and you have to. Or just talking oh about fight prep because yesterday I posted something about like preparing for a fight. I think this is so tough, man. Because you you have to like train twice mm-hmm. a day. Mm-hmm. You have to have enough rest. Mm-hmm. You have to balance work because you have still at work. What? Yeah, correct. Correct. Then sometimes you cannot wang. Oh, well, can that's the sex. worst for him. This the worst. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the worst. But but that's wrong. You cannot drink water. You don't say even like drink alcohol. Water intake also you can't really drink all the way. Yeah, but the back to the wanking part, which it is the important part. I think it's the it's ejaculation. A myth, it's a myth. But, no, no, a, was it? but, it's but a myth. <laughs> is it a myth? Tell Wait, me, I, I keep on reading. <laughs> <laughs> we got a topic here. I, I keep on reading and they say that it actually helps you because it produces testosterone. So, yes, if you, so you're supposed to wank. A lot during the fight camp. I mean, not a lot. La. <laughs> like I you mean, train three times, you <laughs> wank three times. <laughs> and you reject. Too, much, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. You, but you jack it off, then you, you yeah, restore the body. <laughs> yeah, I, but I get. I, I mean, from what I, I mean, there, there was a there was a very famous interview done by Ronda Rousey where she confessed that she has sex a lot during fight camp. But I think she's a female, so yeah. she needs the testosterone. Yeah. Well, well, the news just came out that De- uh, DeAndre Walder, mm. is it DeAndre Walder? Who's that? Deante Walder. Oh uh, yeah, Walder. Deontay Walder. Yeah, so apparently he had sex two hours before his last fight, and he he pr- according to him he did really well. Wow, wow. So he, what? Okay, how does it gonna help you? It, ma- it makes you relax or what? I think relax is one thing because I'll say you just go you like why why you why you talking about <laughs> <laughs> you know and and uh, also I think it's really the 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 production of testosterone mm. so if because apparently if you don't jack off and you mm. keep it all inside your body would think that you don't need any more testosterone I so thought you store more until the fight day like yeah, like yeah, you s- accumulate what? Apparently that's not it. That's it's not it's, it. It's a myth. Okay, tell me, do you? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, what? Do <laughs> you do you <laughs> wang before you fight? No, yeah. I'm, so not you, gonna, I'm not. I'm you're not. You're not. the storer, lah. <laughs> 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 you store power before your fight. It seems like it didn't work for the last time. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should start jacking maybe off now. Maybe you try the next fight. You, I don't know. Man. Every day, yeah. three times a day. With, see, with the glove on. Mm. Smoother surface, ma. Let's try the. Let's try <laughs> ask your your coach. The what kind of glove you want? You want MMA glove <laughs> or the twelve ounce? I think he likes the twelve ounce boxing gloves, lah. The la. big one, the like leather it. one, you know. Oh my god! Wow, I'm put gonna, I'm put gonna a try bit of lobe on it, and then you go like. That means you're gonna use a hammer fist, right? You cannot jab, one. 
Yeah, you can't. You cannot check with that. Yeah. Cannot cross. But then you can only like hammer fist. <laughs> what one doesn't know what a hammer fist is, so he probably has to like mm. learn. Yeah, you so should go. You should hammer go. Hammer fist, I can teach you. Hammer fist is from MMA. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 I was sticking to boxing, I think. But you, you were saying Ronda Rousey have yep. sex, but it's a girl. Uh, then she produce more estrogen. So how how that? Oh. Yeah, you see, this is all bro science at work. So I, have, I have no idea what's <laughs> going on. But I know there was an interview with Ronda Rousey and then uh, with Walder also. Mm. Walder is... It's, it's but I think it's, I think it's all in the mind. I think. I think I know some current boxers who are still like... Don't, who don't really follow the, the old, old school rules. Like Freddie Roach will say no to mm. Pacquiao like three weeks before the fight. That's what he thinks. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I don't know. Mm. I mean, Pacquiao. I'm not going to try and test that. Mm. Next fight is too risky to try. So you still believe in storing? Uh, just store, Just store be safe. Power. Just be safe and store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long will you store? I don't know. <laughs> this we get it. You store for like two weeks, three weeks because Pacquiao is three weeks. Chosen one, Scully four weeks I or don't three know. months. I really don't know. I just hope for a nice dream, uh. huh? <laughs> <laughs> What if? Oh yeah. What if you store, store, store? Then you have that dream. But too bad. Then you I waste your power. Eh. <laughs> you you but you can't you can't stop that dream or you cannot be like in a dream and then you're like Angelina Jolie is like no I have to wake up I have to wake up no you just you just go bro you just <laughs> no go. you see you must stop you must wake up you know if if not you lose your yeah, power I already I don't think anyone has the willpower to do that oh. to wake up in the middle of oh. of Angelina Angel- Jolie yeah Angel- dream. at her peak you know like Tomb yeah the Lala Ra- Croft stage, yeah the you know? Tomb Raider kind yeah with yeah, those no, two guns no no thanks like I I'll, I'll continue sleeping you get shot. <laughs> 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 Don't shoot yourself. Uh, where where is this going? This is no. We were talking about fight prep. You know, like uh, eating right. Mm-hmm. You know, not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Running. What do you think is the toughest? You know, fight yeah. prep. Yeah, fight I prep. think it's about um being patient throughout fight camp. I think mm, patience. I think I haven't. I haven't. I'm not exactly in a position where I can just focus on training yet. So I know like some high profile guys can like stay away from the families then they mm. can just fly over to the family and then go back to camp I, I obviously I can't afford to do that so mm. I have to juggle with my crying son in the middle of the night and then uh, I still have to work I still got my clients minimal food minimal water so I don't know how it feels yet but for me that's mm. quite normal I think mm. what about you You've, you apparently you were supposed to fight earlier this year yeah 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 but you know um, it's really not easy because um to fight properly, you, cause right now even amateurs they train like professionals. They will like take time off work, you know. So and that's what exactly I did, man. I w- I pushed away like, what two months worth of work. Mm. So um, then I had to train twice a day, sleep well, you know, uh, you know, increase your supplement intake, mm-hmm. that sort of stuff. But you know, an accident happened and to pull out last minute really suck, man. Really, really. You suck. pull out, or you pull in? You pull out. I, pull I pull out. Oh, you pull out. Yeah, I I was injured. Okay, mm-hmm. oh, that happens. Yes. Mm. At least yeah. you try it, not like him. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. You know what? I realize this guy is the one you always tekan in all your IG video. You like to tekan him. He, he, he's he, asking he for it. I think he tekans me, but it's the other way around. I'm hustling him, mm. riding on his fame, going to places. So you, so you are admitting that I'm famous? To a certain extent, la, not as famous <laughs> as him. Yeah, obviously, it's like different levels. yeah. No, la, no. La. La, no, same, no you but what weight would you be fighting at? Initially, I wanted to fight all the I'm way. I'm thinking 50 64? Five. No, 55. 55. Yeah, I to cut. But right now, I'm fat, man. I'm fat as shit. I'm all like right, 62 thanks. already. <laughs> 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 all right, thanks. <laughs> if you think you're fat, thanks. Well, 55. That's that's pretty, that's where I went 55 oh, kilos yeah, for my man, last fight. Yeah. It, it was not a good place for him. Yeah. Because mm, mm. sometimes you cut too much, you, you feel tired and weak, man. Yeah, you in the mind. You lost a lot of power yeah. that you normally would have. Mm. But what like how do you well, you're gonna fight in Muay Thai right Yeah. But how I do you was. how do you how do you start it off I mean you you told me you learned a lot of martial arts Right 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 because um this whole journey is, has a lot of ups and downs you know mm-hmm. and sometimes you thought that okay you're done uh you know sometimes yeah life is like that you know sometimes okay mm-hmm. maybe you think you're done and but the art will come back to you and this is when you start training again. I started training in this funky martial art called Ninja Do. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, thought, uh, yeah. I told him I've never heard of it before. I was, I I've heard of yeah. Ninjutsu, but oh, not oh Ninja yeah, Do. Okay, Ninja Do never. Yeah. So last time, you know, as a student, you would like go past the CC one. Then you see, hey, got the banners, yeah. Mm. Ninja Do, what? Nice. Gonna go on Ninja with the sword. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna learn that. Yeah, later. Microsoft Word Clip Arts, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, what? 
like 15 at that time. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the only martial I know was Taekwondo. So what is ninja do? What okay leh? Maybe I can wear black colour, take a sword, disappear, throw smoke bombs. <laughs> I thought I was getting to that, but uh-huh. it turned out to be a... Uh, Is it a scam? No, it wasn't a scam, <laughs> but it turned out to be a system whereby they added like different martial So there's oh. a bit of like karate, taekwondo, hapkido. So basically it's also sort of MMA lah. Something. It's MMA, but not that MMA. Mm-hmm. It's mixed. Yeah. In At least sense. it's better than one of those like videos where you're seeing the, the trainers just like that and the, the, the students just fall all over. Right, right. We don't do that. <laughs> but we learn pretty interesting stuff. We get to learn weapons. How do you fight with multiple opponents? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, how to defend yourself. How do you fight with multiple opponents? Do you take on what? Do you take them one on one or? Um, it's more like you try to get them in a line, so they get messed up. So you, you have to be aggressive. Whoa. But the best thing to to do, you know, is to really run. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, that's yeah. Thing, right, right, right. When I was learning right. Silat, they was like, okay, we'll le- we'll teach you how to combat one on one, and then two on two. Mm. And three on three, and then it stops there. And we're like, so what happens when it's uh when it's uh four on one? And it's like, yeah, you turn and you sprint. <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of <coughs> sense. I think four, four percent is just too mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. Maybe three, you can still have yeah. a chance. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. after Ninja Do, then, then you I shifted to. I did a bit of uh Muay Thai, BJJ. And then uh, afterwards, I think I was uh, just basically gym hopping. And uh, mm-hmm. for, for the last four years, I was at Evolve. And uh, it has been my gym from then on. How's, how's Evolve? Well, it's a great place, man. I got like uh, good coaches coaching me. Get to learn authentic Muay Thai. Mm. Yeah, it's a, I, I like it, man. Yeah. Is it true so that the, the members uh, cannot be around or cannot see the Evolve fight team train? Like I think it's sort of like leave. a... I think it's a pretty grey thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps, you know, they would just want to have their own privacy. It's just like any other people would do that. If you have a fight cam or you have a specific strategy j- mm. that you want to be working on, you wouldn't want like people taking video, sharing. Yeah, Jack, can stop following me when I'm training. <laughs> I'm not following you. I, I do follow someone from Evolve though, but I'm not going to tell you. Who? Say lah. The one I shy. Chill. Oh, uh, the song ah, song ah. <laughs> Yeah, she's very attractive. How is she in real life? Is she attractive in real life? Yeah, I think... Uh, I saw her in Pungul before. Is she staying in Pungul? I, I don't know, man. How well, old one, I, you went I all the way to, to Pungul, Pungul to see her? No, I'm staying in Pungul. Of course oh. I don't know. Oh, no wonder... Oh, uh, that's why I see how your running place looks similar because I used to run along that side. Oh. I used to stay at Pungul, but now I say in Sengkang. Oh. I think it's still pretty similar route. Okay, let's not talk about running because okay, he will okay. feel left Stand out. Really. Yeah, yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> but, but le- okay, le- let me ask you. Why, why do you... Like you've been training since, you've been learning different martial arts since you were fifteen, mm-hmm. right? But why do you keep on going back? What What is it from martial arts that you take out that you really like? Is it because you're overweight? Because because I saw like some photos of you being like super overweight, and some magazine was like before after. Oh, uh, I, I think that is one of the factors. But I think as guys, we need to find something that really inspire us that we have a passion in. Mm-hmm. And uh, fighting is, uh, I mean, tra- training and uh, martial arts in general, it's a form of self-expression. And it helps me, you know, take something from it, which I cannot get from anything else. Oh, okay, yeah. Does, yeah. It, does it help you in your acting? By any yeah, case? it does. You know, sometimes I can do my own stunts. Hmm. You know, it helps in a lot of areas. You know, it helps you be in shape, to be more alert, you know. Yeah. I think it gives you that confidence to be yourself, right, I think. Right, right, right. You know, nothing helps you the most or uh, helps you more than if you know that you can have that power to defend yourself and not to rely on anything else. Mm-hmm. It gives you a kind of confidence. Yeah. Have you ever been, been in fights before? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I did. I did. I did. Really? Uh, yeah, a few years ago, I was like, uh, I was sending a girlfriend back home mm-hmm. and then she was like, hey, Maxi, uh, gee, you know, there's a guy over there. Do you see that guy? Uh, this guy had been like stalking her every single day. Right. So, uh, so afterwards, you know, I sent her back home and the stalker now changed target, you know, stalked me. <laughs> you like guys now? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> there was Just only one road attached. and I had to, he was there, he was obviously waiting for me, there was stare down and we had to, yeah, we had to confront him. Uh. So, what is this about? That guy is just crazy. Okay. Yeah. So, I had to take him down with a low kick. So, you kicked him? Yeah. No, he sw- swung at me at first. Woo. So I was like, phew, you know, th- that lean back <laughs> <laughs> that missed there. 
gave him a low kick and then I think he was like it he was scared after that kick. You could you could feel it when you mm-hmm. know somebody's scared, you know, mm-hmm. he start to hyperventilate okay. and all the vulgarities come out, then they start scared really. Uh, then then the next thing I did was okay, I actually called the police. I said I just kicked someone, but I think this is a case of harassment. So I was like, okay, this guy's wearing black, he's wearing jeans, he's about how old where I am, I was trying to be calm. Mm-hmm. And then the more as I was uh, describing him to the police, he was like getting more and more nervous. Mm. So he ran off. Oh, but okay. Yeah, at least when you do something like that, you make sure that the law is also on your side. Yeah. So that was the last time yeah, you, s- you seen him? For what I, yeah. First oh, and really? last time. Like, no, no more stalking. Eh. They kick I've, must I've, be. I've always, I've always, uh, I always realised that when people who actually learn martial arts, mm. they are more inclined to not fight. Right. When so right. Yeah, when when you know things when you have confrontations, mm. you tend to like cli- you tend to think with a clearer head. Mm-hmm. That's what martial arts do for you because you know you're gonna fuck him up. Especially if that person like you know that person has never had any training or, or what. Yeah. But it's hard to tell because right now so many people train. Yep. You may think that okay, maybe you do boxing or Muay Thai, but what if the other guy is also a very strong opponent? You never know that. Yeah. So I it makes you think, you know, what are the repercussions? Do you mm. want to get smashed up or what? So, yeah, it forces you to think that way. So in that sense, I'll think that martial artists would tend to avoid fights, yes. actually. Yes. It's the people that don't know how to fight that want to fight. Unless you're yeah. right. Ridon. But they just want to prove themselves. Everyone also, he fights. Mm. Uh, normal. Uh, oh, Malay, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you bring down our own car. <laughs> But we but then that was because the person is like stalking your girlfriend back mm. then, then mm. stalking you. Yeah. But nobody like tried to find fault with you just because you are like Famous. the oh. guy from Our Boys to Men. Famous oh, actually, this happens all the time. Sometimes really? I meet people who are drunk, you know, it's like, hey, yeah, drunk don't count, yeah. but like somebody who's sober, like just want to test market. Got yeah, actually, have all the time. Have a uh. test market. Why don't you test market? Yeah, yeah, you train, how come you like, wow, your tricep can be bigger? Uh. I think you also must try, uh. you also train. I was like, oh, oh no. Uh. I mean, if you want to do it, we do it properly, you know. You oh, know, interesting, huh? People yeah. like, s- there are still people like this in Singapore. Yeah, there are, no man, no funny you, people, yeah. Huh? No one challenge you, man. Only you, uh, yeah, but like. you know. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, you still don't want to fight, huh? <laughs> Whoa. Then, uh... <laughs> 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 you want me? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, waste mm. my time, uh, you really, you, uh, if anybody really, like, find fault with me, I just give me my, give him my name card, uh. Why? Come to Legends, uh. Shout out yeah. to Legends Fight Sport. <laughs> yeah. Great boxing gym. Yeah. You know, actually, I realised that we are the same age. And knowing you, you know, And back we both then, look so young. Yeah. Compared to it. this idiot. Mm. You how old? 30. I thought 37 or what? Why, 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 why <laughs> are you nodding? Why are you nodding? <laughs> <laughs> and I've actually, actually watched a lot of your fights. Really? Back then, when, even when you were amateur. I, I remember that you used to have this ponytail. Red tail, yeah, yeah. Sengkang gym. <laughs> correct? Sengkang gym? Yeah, you were there at Sengkang gym. No lah, never lah. Eh, I swear it's you, bro. Fight ah. Uh. Fight, no fight yeah. right? Weight training. Weight training, Sengkang? Yeah. Or oh, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. Sengkang gym, the one in the big swimming pool. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah just a few man. times. Yeah. I, I, have, I have to ask Rido a question. Before, before, mm. after I got to know you a bit, right? Yeah. I was hearing stuff about you where you go over to people's gym and, and fuck people up before you actually have to fight them. Is that true? No, not true. It's quite amazing, like all these stories coming yeah. out. Huh? Yeah, like I heard, like yeah. oh, Ridwan will go around the gym where his opponent is, and he would like ask them for a spa, and then they would fuck them up. No, crazy. No, it's crazy. crazy like, oh, the, yeah. the 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 reputation is. You should have just said yes. It's going <laughs> <our way. laughs> but yeah, no, never. I I mean, I just I do hop around to like uh to spa. I mean, they usually people will invite me. I w- I won't like mm. call up and say, you know, who want to spa. No, yeah. I usually don't do that. People will, like call, hey, want help help out my guys or what? Then I just go. Mm. If they get hit, they get hit up. I mm. hit them first before they hit me first. Mm. So I mean, that's that's usually how it is. Well, yeah, I think I saw a clip of you like uh sparring some guys over at Onyx. Oh, uh. Edgar. I think was sparring with Edgar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I beat him up. And he beat me up. Then I ordered mm. some. Boxing stuff for me because he's he's also the <laughs> owner of uh the Muay Thai shop SG or something. So he sells boxing products. Oh. So all these boxing bags all bought from him lah. So it's worth the beating I think for you. Mm. <laughs> well, did he give you a discount or what? Uh, he better do. <laughs> I just ordered two more punching bags from him <laughs> over the weekend. Yeah. Now moving back to Maxi Maxi, mm. you're uh obviously an actor. Mm. That's your bread and butter. T- le- Tell us like how how you got started out in acting because we know that the industry in Singapore is not that big, mm, right? Mm, mm, so 
tell us more about how you got started out. Uh, wow, it's a long story, but I'll try to keep it short. I was <laughs> doing like um, film studies back in Poly. Mm. So I was, you know, once you finish army, I was at that crossroads whereby should I further my studies, go to uni, or should I get like real experience since you're in my industry, mm-hmm. right? Uh, you don't really look at certification, it's more like your portfolio, you know, what have you done. Mm-hmm. So I thought that perhaps, you know, I could try acting as a, uh, to learn directing. Simply by, you know, being as an actor, you see how different directors work. Oh. So you wanted to be a director first yeah. before you became an actor? Yeah. So okay. you want to work your way up la, in a way? Yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. So, um, sometimes it's funny because the job would look for you. You want to do something, but you cannot find your way. Mm-hmm. But sometimes when you don't want to find, the thing will come and find you. Mm. So what's this thing that find, found you first? So I actually I started as a stuntman for okay. a while. Uh-huh. Then, uh, you know, uh, and I was doing a bit of side jobs, you know, just to get money. And very quickly, you know, people will say that, hey, I think you, you look like you could act. You want to try come down for an audition or stuff like that. So without any, like, acting experience, mm-hmm. but in a sense that I knew what a director wanted, I just went to auditions and thankfully I got, like, roles. Uh. Mm-hmm. So I was acting for, I think, about five years. I was kind of sick of the scene already. Then th- my big break came when I, you know, thankfully I met Jack and going to our boys to men. Where do you meet him? Like outside or at the audition? Oh, audition. You also audition. Mm-hmm. I sent pizza to his place once. Oh, really? Yeah, continue. <laughs> 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 I was working as a delivery for Canadian pizza, so I sent pizza to his place before. Mm. Obviously, he doesn't know me, la, but... Mm. I was ready to audition, man. you go with the belt. La. And you open up the <laughs> <laughs> pizza by the belt. <laughs> it's, it, better be, it better be a belt. <laughs> 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 yeah, nothing else to this one. Yeah. Keep okay, back to keep it PG. Back to Jack New. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, that came your first sort of big break. Yeah, the big break. You know, and I, uh, you know, it's really a blessing because, and I'm so grateful that oh, my first movie was a duology because it was one and two, mm. and who would have known that you know after that we have part three, part four, and perhaps very soon there would be a next installment as well. Awesome. Mm. Oh, part five. Mm. Right, okay, right. It's like a journey and me and my boys, you know, we grew up, you know, we experienced the whole thing together. You can't buy this, you know. So it's yeah. it's, it's literally like NS. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. the friendship is like so genuine, man. I see your just Instagram, Instagram stories, you're all catching up. It's crazy, it's, right? It's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> would oh, want to have that, that kind of thing, but just not with him, but I'm just stuck <laughs> with you, man. <laughs> but too bad, then have it with me. Oh. How many times must I say, we are a team? <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> 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 oh, but back to the story. Recently, you recognized, right? That's hey, what? This is the, hey, the read one. From the boys to men. <laughs> oh my god, I was at a <laughs> boxing fight. Haha, <laughs> you're not as famous as you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I was. So apparently, there's this actor in A Boys to Men whose, whose name is also Ridwan. Ridwan. Mm. Ridwan. Yeah, not Rizwan, but Ridwan. And I didn't know I, wa- I looked like him. So some I heard somebody. I was watching the fight, concentrating on my boxer, and then somebody, there were some whispers at the side, they were like, mm. hey, this one ah, the Ridwan. Mm. Oh, which, which Ridwan, which Ridwan? The Abu Two Men Ridwan, I'm like, what <laughs> the shit? I don't know what to be, I don't know what to be angry about, because it's just, because there were a lot of stories about him, I don't know whether it's true or not, and... I don't think I look like him. I'm not saying he looks bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> you are trying to make him look bad. Hang on, he definitely looks better than you because no one has a nose like yours. Yeah, maybe. Why you, is there's always this nose joke. Right? Yeah, look, look at his nose, dude. Look at his nose. <laughs> Have you ever seen a nose like that? Yeah, this nose... Cari makan mano. But is it true that boxers have to take out this bone? Or is it a myth? I is have no idea because I think I've got this question like mm. so many times. So mm. people people are always asking mm. whether I took out a bone for my nose mm. or what. So I'm just I always say no. I'm just born with a flat nose. This is na- all natural. Because I think there's a lot of martial arts myth. Like Muay Thai people think that, hey bro, so you you train with the three right? You kick the you three kick right? The three. Yeah. yeah, you kick with the three right? I you rub true, like though. rocks on your leg right? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I I mean we don't do that anymore. Those. C- Last time, it uh, could be old school training. Well, I'm not I sure. I still think people in Thailand would probably yeah, do I'm it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But, but do. I don't mm. think people in modern yeah. Usually, those people who tell really me about this whole stuff are those who've been to prison before. Oh. So I think like those uh, those ababang all these mm. uh, all these lauchia will like wow do you do this mm. that you carry pail put in the water. No, I've heard I've heard okay I've heard <laughs> MMA fighters uh and boxers shave this bone here oh. to oh, prevent cuts. 
I never heard about that. To prevent more cuts. I heard so of that. I've heard yeah, of so that. the DS brothers are, are known to do it, even though they still... Because they develop so much scar tissue from mm, cuts. Mm, right. Mm-hmm. So they shave down the bone inside so that... Oh, so this is an operation? Uh, mm. surgery. Yes, okay. it is an operation to shave mm. down the bone. So that's the kind of sacrifices I guess some people do. Are there any, any other myths like in boxing? Boxing? Like besides the nose? Other than no wanking. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that's a myth. I don't know. So we got so two already. We got the no wank. <laughs> no wanking. No wanking. The remove nose bone. Uh, what? Uh? Nothing. Uh. I know two. you. I know you have a ritual though. What? Oh, tell me. Tell the me. the peeing with Ray before you fight. What? It, it's not a ritual. <laughs> it is a ritual. Look, he will get, he will get his hand wrap done. Mm-hmm. How many? Uh, how long before the fight do you get your hand wraps done? Uh, maybe about um four to five fights before. Okay, and then you get you put your gloves on and they tape you up, right? <coughs> and yeah, I put on my my wraps. Then the the I get somebody to come and watch. Uh, then they sign it to make sure that I don't put anything inside. Mm. Then I'm, after that, he goes away. Then I put on the gloves. Mm. Then put the tape. Then they sign the gloves. That means mm. I cannot take it out anymore. Yeah. Oh my. And then God. so what happens is that. Then he hammer fist. No. <laughs> 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 well, he can do it himself. <laughs> well, so what happens is that he will have to go to the toilet after that. Yeah. Right. Because and how do you like store so long? <laughs> so he store yeah. power. You know, you want to store the pee as well. So <laughs> so <laughs> his his coach Ray. Yeah. Would go to the toilet with him mm. and help him pee. Yeah. Really? That's oh. what the disabled toilets are for. So uh, not not for two guys. <laughs> <laughs> People don't have to know, but now they are all of them know. Actually, I not easy. You know why? He has to take off the pants first. Yeah. Then the groin guard. He don't need to aim for me. It's okay. <laughs> he he, he's he don't need to. <laughs> don't, need, don't need to adjust. No, hang on, hang on. Does, he, does he wash for you or not? Uh. Oh, <laughs> Come on, wash, so does there, he there's, wash? A, there's a bidet but for a reason. shake it off like, like <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like I, I just one, jump it off one and you're like <laughs> 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 yeah that's gross one <laughs> something that <laughs> not known that is gross can you stop asking Ray to do that for you it's only twice but have <laughs> you done any weigh-ins naked uh, in the amateurs yes um, once Oh, uh, naked yeah, in front of like a lot of people. No, in the amateurs, it was it's quite private, so it's like covered and it's just you and the official official guy. It's oh. Just just two people, two or three. So he saw your dong. Yeah, once because <laughs> on the first day, I just make it like I'm just like, zero point two grams over. Okay, mm. they could just have let it go, but they just want to see how Singapore looks like. Maybe, oh. you know, I just have to take out my boxes and show them that brown sugar. You know? Hopefully, it's still good la. Sometimes you cut too much weight, little string. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but you know, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, happens, hey, but really. it's true. Like sometimes you go swimming, you wake up like, hey, you're like smaller, have or not? Like, I'm <laughs> That's how you like run hard there weight. So you wear much all your TikTok sauna suit. in this episode <laughs> that I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you invited the big head here. <laughs> no, but you know, I, I I've uh, always wondered. Remember when Conor McGregor mm. show up? For the Floyd. Mayweather fight. He yes, and he had a hard on. on. Why? Right? He had a hard on. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell, man? How the hell does he have a hard on when he has to cut weight? He has so much to, to think about and stuff like that. Like, how? Excited and then I realized, and then I realized, actually, the way ins that the whole world sees mm. is the ceremonial Fake one. Yep. one. So the actual one happens in the morning, right? Yep, really Hours happened. before that. Oh, so that's the. They have already like yeah, drank they, up and yeah, mm. so they already make weight mm. and they already replenish and everything. And I guess he went hammer fist lah, you know what I mean? Right before he goes, yeah, call his wife like. Eh. But sure not, he looked very ripped leh. And then on fight day, he looked like bloated. So yeah, I'm pretty, sh- I'm pretty sure Pre- that was he already made weight before that and he replenished. And I think so. I know. Got a hard on. Mm. Oh, is that is that that or Mayweather has some sexy <laughs> moves going on? Uh. <laughs> Once you go black, you won't go back. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys like read up like recently Mayweather is gonna fight Tenshin Nakam? Well, apparently it's not like happening, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? And uh, uh, I find that totally amazing because mm. for somebody as smart as Floyd Mayweather, right? I don't understand how he got. He he said that he got tricked into yep. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't believe a single. And one he of was them. quite. I mean, if he really got tricked, I mean, he was quite classy because he just because it took photos yeah, and he didn't like be a dick and just ran off. Well, he is a dick because he tricked us all. He didn't. It was the media. How many people actually like book tickets to go and see that fight already? <coughs> or like book air tickets to fly in and see that fight? Nobody asked them to. 
Well, if he just took one day and then the next day, really, he explained it wasn't. No, I don't think it was one day. One I think day. he flew back to the US. Then he, then he tweeted it out that mm-hmm. he was. Actually Maybe it wasn't safe, you know. Yeah, he was kind of forced. Yeah, there are a few ninja dos right <laughs> running around some in yeah, Japan. Yeah, yeah. Some yakuza Those shit. The, yeah. going yeah. On. But that guy can really I, I think kill so, people, I think man. So, yeah? The tension guy. Mm. See his videos. Oh man, he looks a bit like you, though. I, I mean, saw you look him a bit in like person. Him. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. He Is he big? He, he's at Evolve. Oh, he's yeah, he's, he's my okay. weight. Eh. Yeah, yeah. He's. I think. I think he's your height. I think he fights at fifty-five kilos. I think. Yeah. You want to fight? The guy's a beast, man. Twenty years old. That young. Twenty years old. He's very young, and I. Prob- we'll probably see him in the UFC one day. Definitely. Yeah. I'm not surprised if he's going to be in the one FC. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm-hmm. Maybe one I FC. I think he would be. Yeah, because one has like a super series right now. So they are like trying to popularize uh, striking sports. So yeah, we might mm. see that happen. And, and recently, I think I was very surprised when they announced that they're going to e gaming. E gaming? E gaming. Oh, that's what's the, what, what's one the FC next name? Mighty Mouse. I don't know. Mm, no, no. I mean, they're, they're going to they're gonna do a league. Oh wow! E gaming league. What's it supposed to mean? Under one FC, so they're gonna organize e gaming events, which is huge in in Central Asia. What is e gaming? Yeah, gambling. You mean? No, no, no. Uh, E-gaming. you know, games like Dota, League of Legends, mm-hmm. FIFA, that kind of stuff. Yeah, FIFA and stuff like that. So apparently, oh. they're gonna do. I think it's gonna be a separate arm, but it will still be w- under one championship. Oh, I tell you, this company is going places. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. championship. If you're hiring. I was told. I experience. was told like they call you to for a job like twice or three times. You yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> you nothing came from it. But you know they say third time lucky. Yeah, okay. You man. can't stop looking. Sometimes when you, s- but like, but like you said, sometimes, but, yeah, sometimes looks when for you. you stop looking, the job looks for me. So I'm yeah. hoping for that maybe. Mm, one maybe day. after this video, lah. <laughs> Scully lawyer letter. <laughs> <laughs> stop talking about us. You're embarrassing us. Okay, sure. But how do you even um? Mm. Squeeze in and uh, you screen what? Yeah, uh, you train what every day. You squeeze in training and acting. Okay, okay. Let's mm. let's uh take take us through a day in your life when you actually have to film mm. and at the same time you have to train. What is it like? Okay, uh, normally a full day of uh shoot would take about like maybe eight to ten hours, sometimes twelve. Oh my god, so that is a normal. lot of a lot of waiting, right? I heard. Uh, sometimes, but it mm. could be back to back. You know, you are doing every scene, and uh, once I finish, I actually have to go back to read my script because I still got shoot the next day. So it's only like uh, when I'm really free, like perhaps tomorrow I have like half a day shoot, then I could afford training. Mm. Yeah. Guys, so I saw like one of your posts. You were saying like, uh, you weren't a good actor or something because you didn't do your homework or whatever. What was that about? Right. Like, oh, I think there was a point in time in my life I, I was kind of big headed. So okay. I was like, huh? Nah, I don't need to go to auditions. Oh, if I go go to audition, I don't need to read the script. You know, I'll show up, show up unprepared. Even for shoots, I'll not read. But do you still get the job? Yeah, I got the job already. So it, well, it can't you can't go. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So I realized, you know, nah, I need to you know get my shit together, be professional, be prepared, show up well, mm. show up rested, do your scenes well. What what what? Okay, m- something must have happened for you to realize that. Yeah, yeah. It was like I was on set and I was tired. Mm. I can't get my lines down. I'll ask my friends. So today I have to say what? Mm. They're like, hey, cannot lah, Maxi. You have to wake up your idea. Oh, they get annoyed You have to know your lines, man. You cannot just show up every day. Uh, what's my line? That's crazy. So, you know, it was spicy uh, to a point. So I, I knew I had to like get my stuff together, do my homework and perform well. Mm. Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean the, the, the thing is you learned from that. A lot of people would, you know, mm. They by say yeah they tell themselves by say but the next day is the same thing yeah, yeah, yeah. again and again like what mm. right no uh, what like you lah that's why now you jobless <laughs> 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 so so mm. you you only train when you have the time to train yeah, uh, yeah it it must be well I guess it will be like a distress kind of thing right right because I think in in this modern society actually a lot of people suffer from depression right a lot and they don't see mm. they look happy everything but they are depressed and martial arts has been like a very healthy outlet for me to exercise and to distress you know nothing is better than taking a whole day of like positive or negative energy and just you know improving yourself Correct. so i think i thanks to evolve and martial arts i could always like mm-hmm. have that thing going on to distress myself mm. for some reason i'm just wondering mm. if chatri is going to be watching this or listening know. to this <laughs> it'd be quite cool though <laughs> Mm-hmm. Chatri is. Uh, have you met? Tr- have you guys met Chat- uh, Chatri before? He yeah. came to my fight once, and then uh, I think obviously he unimpressed. He left. 
No, <laughs> he was, he was like, hey, you never heard from him. He was like, man, that guy is good. But I, I, I think he had a discussion with my promoter Scott. So I don't know whether they're gonna work something out or, mm-hmm. or not. But I'm sure he's gonna get some of the other boxers in the in Singapore to be in the mm-hmm. in the league or whatever it, it's whatever it is. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, have you have you s- uh, met Chatri before or talked to him before? Yeah, once in uh, sometimes he appear in a gym. So uh, yeah, we'll say hi. Uh, actually, you know, that's a really good thing, you know, because right now One FC has that Super Muay Thai League, the Kickboxing mm-hmm. League. Mm-hmm. Perhaps mm-hmm. one day we could have like a boxing, boxing league. league. Yeah, yeah. I mean then we have the our home boys already. Eh. I mean, they already started in mm. Thailand, right? The time because the Swiss Arcade room beside. I mean, he's a huge star. Oh, right, there was a right? boxing. Yeah, yeah, there was already one, one right? You mm. you told yeah, me yeah, there yeah. was already yeah, one. Yeah, there was already mm. one. So I don't know whether it's gonna like happen again. So, yeah. Yeah, but it's uh. <coughs> so I met Chatri, I think maybe three, four years ago mm. when One FC was first starting out. I did mm. an interview with him, and my first impression of him was like, "Wow, this guy is—he looks—he's built like a fighter." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He mm-hmm. was one. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I mean, at that point, I thought he was starting one. He's transitioning like into a prop, like a businessman, full on and stuff like that. He spoke really well, and mm. then you know, got to know his story and stuff like that. And this guy is in, is a really big inspiration to. To what an Asian can actually achieve, right, right, right. You know, we we always say that we're not given opportunities and mm-hmm. stuff like that, but this is a guy who actually made opportunities for yeah. himself. Right, right, right. Where he has brought one championship right now, it's mm-hmm. it's crazy. I mean, like the fact that the UFC started dealing with them with the yeah. Mighty Mouse thing. Mm-hmm. Even Conor McGregor like tweeted to yeah. him directly, and, and it, it seems yeah. like you know UFC are recognizing them as. Not just a rival, but but also like maybe someone that they can work with, mm-hmm. and they don't even do that with Bellator. Bellator is is by it's far big. the second biggest yeah. MMA yeah. thing in 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 the US. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, w- I mean, if I was to see one in one FC, I think that would be great, man. Yeah, to see you fight. I think you deserve that kind of audience and mm-hmm. those kind of crowds. I know, but I think I think Ringstar has been doing quite. Uh, quite a tremendous job in bringing up uh, boxing, not just pro- for professional, but for also for the amateur scene. And considering that the the team that they have now, uh, it's not as huge as one, f- of course. But yeah. I think they're always giving the hundred percent. Try always trying to genuinely want to improve the event. Try to get mm. people to sit down and watch. But I think there are always a lot of factors. But I think I think great things can happen. I think I, w- I mean I'm not saying that you fight for one F, uh, for one championship and and not fight for Ringstar, but maybe mm. like you know, because Ringstar is also growing right now, yep. and mm. you know maybe one and Ringstar could work something out, and that would be great for yeah. Yeah, you know. know just like uh, you know Tiffany Teo yesterday, right? I mean mm. the home crowd yeah, was shout all out. there. Tiffany, yeah. well done, man. Do, well you, done, do well you train done. her? No, uh, no, Swanky. no. I mean she came here for a few times just <coughs> to do her boxing with. Some of f- I think Sheen and some of other members just mm. and Chawe, mm-hmm. so they just do some boxing here, and I just let them use the space. Mm. It's the least I can do to like you know help support. Mm-hmm. And uh, yesterday I think was a was a great upset I think because her mm. opponent was what eight time world yeah. <laughs> world champion BJJ, right? BJJ, BJJ black belt that's black belt, yeah. yeah. And I think she took the game uh standing up mm. and then I think Michelle Nicolini was confident. I think she could have finished. Tiffany on the ground, but mm-hmm. Tiffany just I think work on her escapes very well. Yeah, keep the fight standing up, and Nicolini was getting tired. Yeah, and then she got kicked in the head. One good one right. I saw, and she wobbled. <laughs> yeah. She wobbled mm-hmm. for a bit. I think, mm. I think that's the thing about fighting. Once you take away what somebody's good at, mm-hmm. I think they just they right. just got like take whatever that they want to do. Don't let him, don't let him or her do it. Then mm. that's how much how much of it do you think was. Tiffany being spurred on by the home crowd. I mean, you fought in front of your home crowd before. Mm. How much of a factor is that? Was it a good thing or a bad thing? Do you feel like you need to do extra um, for it? To be honest, once you fight, right, you don't really... I mean, of mm. course, when you're in difficult situations and then when you hear your home crowd shout, mm. it does give uh, additional power, additional like endurance to like continue right. and not take a take a knee and not, mm. not give up. Mm. But then I think it does help. La. It mm. does help. But... It's really up to the individual, I think. Like, for me, I mean, I've been through tough times in the ring, and then when the crowd was like, come on, one! Mm. Something just that was me, by the way. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 come on, one! <laughs> come on, one! Uh, one more! On, one jab! Or one so it, like, jab. like, you know, like, people are watching, and you, mm. don't let them, you don't want to let them down. Mm. You just you just fight on, and 
try to get the win. Uh. You're talking about that. Uh. How do you respond to people who think that they know everything about fighting? Like, hey, oh, you know, hey, that day uh, if you fight like Muhammad Ali, uh, you win already. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't oh know, Oh, my God. Because right now, there's so many people who like to yeah. talk fights as if they know fights. They don't train. They know nothing about it. And they only know Muhammad Ali. Yeah. That's all they know. Yeah. Hey, it's the greatest all time, man. That day you hook like Mike Tyson, you win. Eh. Yeah, I'm, but I mean, their instructions mm. are pretty much very general. I think... When you, I think good instructors will say mm. it's not just about throw pun- throwing punches. Everybody know how to throw punches. Every uh, to me, anybody can knock out another person. It's just about how to land that punch. Mm. So it's not just about uh jab or straight or uppercut la, or yeah. hook like Mike Tyson. La. Yes, we all know that. I think all fighters know what we need to do to win. Mm. But it's just a matter of how we're gonna exec- execute that, right. that game plan. I think that's the tricky part. Not everybody have that knowledge. Mm. Even some coaches think they know but they actually don't know mm. yeah, so I mean at a po- one point of time also at my level before I thought it's as simple as just punching going in and out throwing more punches but that's not the case mm. it's just it's you have to go in it's about measuring distance mm. timing right. sometimes you have to know what are their strengths like for me I know Ambuna is a good in fighter mm. so I mean the plan was to be on the outside mm. make him tired then push him back slowly but mm. then he took he, he came forward first he took that space away he took that distance away and I couldn't punch Mm. And I could, I should have moved around a bit more, created more space. But then, I think it was a bit of ego also. Mm. People because people were saying, "Oh, he's strong, he's strong, he's strong." So I wanted to prove to people like, "Oh, I can be as strong." Mm. But then it's not smart. Mm. Like how Ray Leonard lost to Roberto Duran. Mm. But I'm not saying I'm like Ray Leonard. But <laughs> I mean that's pretty much far away, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but that's pretty much how it is. Uh, in terms of like game plan. Mm. What uh, kind of fight, uh, fighter do you think you are? Or do you fight with a different game plan to different opponents? I think different different opponents usually have a different game plan. But mm-hmm. generally, I think I would be aggressive. Mm-hmm. I am quite, I think, quite technical. Mm-hmm. And yeah. to me, personally, my mistake is being too technical in my last fight. Oh. So I try to be too perfect. Try to be, it has, to be, like this, has to be like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I try to be very textbook and that's just not me. Mm. So, I mean, it is what it is. Well, there's a chance for you to right the wrong. Right what? In the rematch? Yeah, the rematch is going to happen next year. So oh I nice. think Ringstar is going to do the official announcement once uh, once Ambunda signed. And once it's going to be for a WBC belt. I d- mm. I'm not sure for at what level it is. Mm. But people say WBC is a prestigious, it's a prestigious belt, right? Mm. It's historically rich with like legends having that belt. So we will see where so it goes. Ki- sorry, you go. So your opponent bought you a pillow the other time? No, I bought him a pillow. Oh, you bought him the pillow? Yeah, I got him a pillow. And then oh. after the fight, I lost. I said, hey, Rock, give me back the pillow. Ah. So mm. Then he just laughed. Huh. So the next fight, I'm going to ask him back. Ah. I think I give I him think the next fight, next you give him bolster. <laughs> 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 I think that's a plan. Ah. I think that's a plan. Yeah. But, but can you, is there a way that Ringstar uh, and you can put something in your contract that says that he cannot really wear his shorts all the way up <laughs> to his tits? <laughs> so the hell? You were there, yeah, right? Yeah, Did you yeah. see how high his shorts are? Mm. He doesn't have a body. It was just <laughs> head, head, neck, tits, <laughs> and then shorts. Uh-huh. Right? And and I think because of that, Ridon couldn't land any body shots because Ridon don't know where his don't body know, that was. That one is groin or <laughs> body, you know? <laughs> you cannot hit below the belt, but the body only here. How? Uh? Yeah, so come on. Let's just do yeah. that. You know, just say, it. okay, you cannot wear your shorts above your belly button. Yeah, but I think the ref- I think the referee gave us the briefing again. Say yeah, here is acceptable. Like here is not. Acceptable. Yeah, it didn't help though because you never landed yeah, anybody shots. Aim, really. <laughs> what do you aim? I don't know, but I think the next the next fight I have some some plans. What I want to do, mm. I have to just be. I just do have to be a bit. I won't say dirty. I have to be just a bit rough in like mm. the rough housing techniques. They say mm. so. I try not to be too polite. I think I'm too polite lah. Mm. Like from the amateur boxing background, yeah, like it has to me. be mm. no under no low blow, no hitting the back of the head. Mm. But there are a lot of little little things people do in the ring that you don't. Exactly I think I think the word that you're you're missing here is smart. You just have to be smart. Yeah. Right. He's a veteran. He's a veteran. He's he knows veteran the game things, inside yeah. out and 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 stuff like that. So. But it's it's good to know that you are already. I mean, we let's not talk more about it because you don't want to give away your game plan. Yeah, right, correct, correct. In correct. case he's listening, mm. but it's good to know that you're bouncing back mm. in a very positive way. Correct. Now I want to I want to shift the topic back to you, Max. See, mm. I'm pretty sure you've been. It's been a roller coaster, right? Being an actor, I'm pretty sure there mm-hmm. were some parts which you really wanted you didn't get. Mm-hmm. How do you bounce back from that? 
Oh, I think uh, it has sort of become like a habit already. So I'm always pretty used to rejections. Really? You get rejected? <laughs> that sounds yeah. sad. Really? <laughs> really, really. It's not, you know, once you're there, then everything just comes to you. I you mean, still people, have would to th- people would think that just bec- like you're famous, so you mm. should get any role you want, right? Yeah. Well, it doesn't work that way, man. I wish, I wish. Maybe it doesn't I really suit wish. your character or what, maybe. Uh, no, no. But I mean, at this point of time, you know, I still have to go to auditions. I still have to like do my homework and stuff. So, and everything is actually still a gamble. Sometimes I still have to work through like dry periods of my life where I don't have any work. Oh. You know, and that's when you know, okay, uh, just train more, lo. get yourself always physically ready for any challenge mm-hmm. or practice, watch more movies. Yeah, this is how I prepare myself. But then, if you watch movies or shows, right, do you like can you like really enjoy the show or you are, are you are quite critical of the angles, of the acting, of the what? There like, was a time I was like that, I was always trying to observe how uh, actors work, how do they move, how do they say something, how do they like perform a certain thing. Then, when I become too technical and when I'm observing too much, I, I don't enjoy the show. So I've gotten that, that, mm. that part out. So when I'm watching something, I'm really just enjoying for the story, for the acting. Mm. Mm. That's that's uh, that's a very interesting note that mm. you you do. So it's like practicing mm-hmm. and studying at the same time when you watch another movie. That yeah. must be annoying, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure you, when you watch boxing matches, you are the same, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just like, I ask a chef whether they can enjoy food at somebody else's restaurant. Mm-hmm. Some of them, will, oh, some of them like okay, they just eat whatever. Mm. Some people are like oh, how they do this? I I, I, want, I need to make mine better. Mm. So I think y- we just need to like relax and mm. enjoy the moment. Uh. it's mm. okay. Sometimes people are better or or we suck. We just accept it and we just move on. Uh. Mm. Have you ever been given a role that you did not like, or after you take it, then you're like oh shit. Oh, sometimes yeah, it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you get out of it? Yeah, sometimes it sucks. That's why I wanted, I lost so much weight because I, I guess for a period of time I was like stereotype. People thought that I could only play like nerdy roles. Mm. So it's hard to convince someone when you don't look the part. Mm-hmm. You know, I, was t- I, I can tell someone, hey, you know, I could do this, I could do that. But it's hard to make them see that you can do it unless yeah. you transform yourself. Because you acted the nerd so well. Yeah, but you really think I'm a nerd, yeah? Are you really a nerd? Are you a nerd? I can be a nerd, but, but I'm not but a nerd. But, but you're not a nerd yeah, in real not, life. Not, I mean, not, you don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't. Yeah. So whatever I did, you know, for the role of Aloysius is what I basically, based on observation, you know, in mm. the army or mm. what, what do you do at? Army. Yeah, army. Also. So you get to see all kinds of people. Definitely there are like, people like Aloysius. So I like basically remember what they did, how would they walk or perhaps it's a bit of like tapping on what my experiences with them and a bit of my own imagination mm-hmm. and that's how I created this guy. So did it come like quite naturally? Uh, not exactly, but I have to work with Jack also to develop this guy. Oh, okay. Mm. So you do work with him to about your character and mm. stuff like that. Mm, mm. That's that's pretty mm. interesting because I would think somebody who who has his name known as you mm. or somebody with as many like followers as you around social media would think that uh the art aspect of acting mm. is not as huge as just going there and doing your thing. You know, mm. some people, mm. some people were like, okay, I'm Angelina Jolie and I'm going to do this. And mm. that's it. People create roles for you. Yeah. But if, you know, you're, you're taking into consideration the creative aspect with it, sitting down with your producer and director. I think that's, that's a, that's a good nod to how much you put into this. Yeah. 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 yeah it's really a craft. And every time I get a new role, I would, sometimes you get roles that are similar to something I've done before mm-hmm. and it might get boring, but I always try to develop something different. How can I make this different from something I've done previously? How do I make it more better? Yeah. How much leeway <laughs> are you given like for a certain role? Like if you want to develop your own kind of like fixes on the, the character itself? Basically, I'll not discuss with anyone. I'll just go with the flow. Uh, but I'll show up with something at the back of my mind. Unless it's, it deviates too much from the script, perhaps the director will talk to me. But mm. normally, I'm pretty much okay you know, as long as I uh, know my lines and get everything done, I think it's pretty all right. Mm. So you have a close relationship with Jack? Uh? Not bad. I mean, he, he's like a... It's like a mentor, though. No? Yeah, like a mentor, you know. Sometimes, you know, I have to reprise my role and I lose touch a bit because sometimes in between every A Boys to Man, it's a few years. Mm, yeah, correct, So you correct. remind me, oh, you should like do it this way, you should say certain things. You know, I, I think Aloysius could say this, you know, it's better for this character. So yeah, he he will guide me. How long does is, does an average a voice to men take to make? 
Uh, I think about three months. The longest was Frogman. So we had to train for three months to prepare for the role. So, so you did proper, proper Frogman yeah, training? Yeah, we were training in NDU. So mm. we had to get a scuba license. We had to learn like their drills, their commands, their training. And basically, everyone had to be in shape. And I was told, you know, hey, if you couldn't be in shape, Maxi, you're out. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> they were going to drop you. Because I was really, really fat at one of time. So I think I managed to lose like six or seven kilo. Commitment. Respect. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot, but, you know, for the role. Yeah, it made it a difference, I think. Purpose, yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh did mm. you have any uh <coughs> dream roles that you would like to do? I mean what would be the a, a, a dream character or role that you would play out? Wow, I, that's a really, really good question. <laughs> and I haven't have a honestly I haven't played any superheroes before. I think this is quite uh, cool. Or play like a super villain. Maybe like someone like Joker. Mm. Superhero, maybe I want to play someone like Ultraman. <laughs> Everybody wants to be Ultraman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Ultraman I don't want to be Ultraman. Hero, yeah. Have you wondered Ranger. where they fly to after they done winning the monsters? After they win the monsters, I they, think they fly, but they, they fly, right? where yeah. they go? I don't know, man. Ultraman got a planet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> wait, Ultraman. Wait, Ultraman is a planet. Yeah. And there are how many ult- Ultramans like in total? A lot. A, a lot, lot, right? There's female Ultraman. Uh. So they Ultraman must mother, <laughs> Ultraman sister. <laughs> got the small one. So they must wait for the t- 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 then they got power. Why from the beginning they don't they don't want to do that? Oh, the th- 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 I think it's for like they got limited time in their giant form. Stupidest power. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's quite crap. Ba- basically an excuse uh, so they could keep the special effects lower. I love More I budget for... Mm-hmm. And the fights only happen in Japan. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Singapore must have Singapore Ultraman. <laughs> yeah, maybe that, that would be great. I think I think we've never had Yeah, a we never had a... Uh, giant well, we had VR man. VR man. Yeah, but come on. Times have changed. Hey, but Wong Lee Lin. <laughs> Wong Lee Lin, right? James Sly, man. And Wong Lee Lin, right? Man, yeah. Wong Lee Lin. We are men. Still, until now. Mm. Who's the Wong Lee Lin now? Wong? Who? Who is the Wong Lee Lin now? What, in this current climate? Yeah. Mm. Who's your Wong Lee Lin? Yeah. Whoa. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think if VR man made a comeback? A different... I think you should be VR man. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah hey, this, you, this you will end I my career. Yeah, no, right? I think it suits you <laughs> to be Could VR be. man. And but Wong Lee Lin would be, I don't know. But uh, it must be a pre. Is she is she still acting now? We should. I was thinking of getting her to the show, but yes, I, I, I I'm shy to <laughs> message her. You you do ah. No you, know, you message her. You do shout out ah. <laughs> Actually, you know, in my years of acting, I've never seen her before. I, think I don't she has think. Stopped, really. I don't I think, think she's yeah. she's acting I anymore. I think if she's ever here, we both will not be talking. <laughs> we'll just just like, like, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's so. I don't. I don't watch enough local TV to know who should be a Wong Lilin right now. She was in Triple Nine, right? Was Triple, Nine. Triple Nine. Oh my god. Triple yeah. Nine was the yeah. BR man, Triple Nine. BR man, Triple Nine growing up. Yeah, I think yeah, we really do we really do need a superhero mm. show. Singapore. I mean considering that we are like technologically advanced. Okay, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. VR does VR man VR man's costume is all black, right? Yeah. So is the underwear outside or no underwear at all? I think it's a black Your style like no underwear. Outside. It was all black, mm. so no underwear outside. Yeah, was like a, I I, I think so. Let, let, let me try a, <laughs> find <laughs> yeah, a picture I'm of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think you play like a boxing superhero? Like got armor one, then your groin got armor also. What's that show? Uh, the, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's the, the show? The movie. Steel. The real steel is it? Real steel. Yeah, real steel. Real steel, oh, real that's steel cool, was that? Yeah, that's that's, that's the, boxing. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know whether we have. I mean, Singapore. Production team have the budget to do something like that. Real wood, uh. <laughs> real wood, uh. <laughs> Salah, uh. Real wood. <laughs> <laughs> real wood. That one is a porn parody. <laughs> yeah, real wood. <laughs> real wood. <laughs> but I think it would be nice to have like a boxing show or like a boxing drama. A uh, boxing drama. It actually can. Eh. Like Surya, right now they got like this about barbers, right? Yeah. Gunting, gunting. They do gunting, gunting, gunting. gunting. And then, oh, and then there was one about the MMA one, but Bo- no, was it MMA or wrestling? MMA, mm. MMA. There was um Nick Mikhail was doing it with Ernazis and all that. Mm, mm, mm. So I think we can do a boxing one or what lah. Yeah. Or oh, you act as Mia. No, I w- batu, I think batu one, batu two. <laughs> <laughs> I can play as opponent lah, but maybe this rule you can. But you never fight because Chinese a lot of before. boxers they will take on acting. I think this is common, right? Yeah, really? I mean, yeah, you're, I'm, you're no, I think more, yeah. more of it's them, for you, uh, yeah. more of them are going to sports casting now mm. because they can't act for shit. <laughs> Let me try. Can I think we've enough coaching? Can yeah, but yeah. maybe we gotta fix that nose first, you know. 
I mean, I can do the after effects after. No, it's very hard to edit that nose. To be honest, <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> edit the nose. Yeah. <laughs> I've done a lot. I spent thousands of hours editing, and no, there's no way I can fix that nose. That's why you lost your job. You couldn't do a simple <laughs> job. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Uh, oh. VR, VR man, the shit. I I can't get VR man out of my head right now. Okay, anyway, can you speak Malay? Sikit, sikit. Because sikit, your sikit. your your guys, uh, what Tosh and all, they I are like singing Indon Indon songs and all. Peter yeah, Pan and what's what what about that? I, I don't know, man. I know Tosh can speak a bit of Malay. In fact, Tosh got in Surya show before. Oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm sure you got a lot of Malay girl fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you do too, lah. But yeah, oh, sorry, you sorry. When you say he is what? me or what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I I got I got to ask since we brought up the 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 whole Surya and 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 things like that. Mm, mm, mm. Over the last few years, I noticed that the Malaysian side of things mm. have they, I mean. Movie wise and everything, mm. they've been booming. Yeah, like no man, one's yeah, business. Man. You know what I mean? I think they did like this special forces. Movie. Yeah, it looks kick ass, man. Yeah, looks Pascal, uh, Pascal, Pascal. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It looks crazy. So why? Why do you think they've progressed much bigger there than Singapore? Because mm. their celebrities are like a big, a big over there, like yeah. proper. You know, shout out Nora Danish. <laughs> Do you even know who's Nora Danish? No, <laughs> oh, you should. <laughs> she got a million followers, I think. It's a girl. Uh. It's a girl. Of course, it's a girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a proper question to ask you because we never know. Uh, with you. Okay. No, but but the point is, mm. the industry has gone so big right mm. now. Even like our great Aaron Aziz mm. is, yeah, has gone okay. there and right. became a bigger star. Like, I want to know why. Why is it that in terms of like movie making or, or series making, they are but way I ahead of us? Bigger market, you got more population to watch your show, and that turns into money. So Singapore is small; it's kind of hard on that way. Yeah. Do you, do you mm. would you ever take a role in in Malaysia? Yeah, why not, man? I love the place, love the food. The people are nice. Currency. Yeah, currency, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Times three, baby. Yeah. But I think it's really down to the culture, la. I mm. think Singaporeans. Do people like come up to you and like? to take a photo I mean I, I'm sure they do yeah, but they, they are do. not like crazy crazy like in in Malaysia I don't think you can if you are that famous I don't think you can go out and like yeah I could I could even go out like at night mm. sometimes in Malaysia why like, people you have a curfew <laughs> 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 but you think people gonna compare Pascal with our boys to men I haven't heard of it but when I saw that trailer I th- I think yeah, well, that's a good stat man people would it's right because at first step, you, when yeah. you started our boys to men the first one were there like people comparing it with army days? Oh, definitely all the time, man. All the time, right? You get yeah. tired of it. Uh, sometimes I think people do it on purpose also. Yeah, just like, to piss you yeah, off. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, no, as a yeah, but okay, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, not mm. discrediting army days. I mean, considering yeah. the technology they have, the storyline mm. that they have. I mean, it's a, it's a good start for yeah. mm-hmm. f- for film back then. Yeah. But then, I mean, times change. But people just pretend they like what they've seen before is it or oh, people now are not like the actors before or even sports people mm. you know like the sports people before I think people just like to have negative comments all the time but I think to be honest Army Days was really good it's and funny, they had to yeah. shoot it on film and that's hard because right now we got luxury of like using memory memory card yeah. last time they had to like you Correct. know, yes. That that's hard, man. I don't think it's far back as in you have to die that. I yeah, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but we know I what I mean. When yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it's a different thing altogether. Do you do you think uh, a boys to men will ever become uh will ever lose its its comedic edge and become like a full on serious movie, a- action movie? Actually, we saw that happening in part three. Mm. Yeah, I think part three was pretty serious. We touch on like a lot of serious topics. The training was serious. And uh, I think so far that is the the sequel which I enjoyed making the most. So imagine like going three months of hardcore training to prepare yourself for a role for a movie. But you don't have to sleep in uh, when during the preparing. I think we can't sleep in. They don't allow us. Okay, Even for sense. a Tekong one, we have to book in, book out every day. Mm. I mean, yeah. I mean, to me, the first I Boy to Man was the one that I took really seriously because it had that girlfriend issues thing. Oh, which is what you went which through. Which is e- what well, everybody went through that in national service. Your girl leaving you. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, because go. because your girl left before that. <laughs> mm-hmm. no, uh, no, I didn't have a girlfriend. Oh, you were still yeah. figuring out your sexuality, <laughs> right? <laughs> in BMT. <laughs> but <laughs> but, <laughs> but <laughs> going to BMT. <laughs> if Don't I drop like the guys, soap, I'm like, whoa, this is heaven. 
Honestly, hey, we get to hear a lot of crazy things just before army. People say, hey, you cannot drop yeah. your soap. So, so kena must sleep before child without the magic selling your boy put work up. Yeah, but the drop the soap part, I was quite disappointed when I went in and the showers all had Nobody doors. Did, did, did. <laughs> no, uh. the showers all had doors, so I'm like Really? Yeah, I was I was in the police. Oh, oh right. So babies. that that time the police Oops. just moved to Home Team Academy. Okay, fair enough. So I'm like, oh so we're not showering together. <laughs> a bit you were dis- disappointed. A bit disappointed. <laughs> you were expecting <laughs> the Starship Trooper shower <laughs> that one. <laughs> Everybody lined up, we just shower. But well, so far our boys to men are all army, right? Like and the, uh, maybe yeah. no yeah, police yet, right? One, two was BMT, three was frogman, four for his armor, yeah. Actually we thought we we thought of like perhaps one day we could do like police or fire firefighter man. would be quite cool. Right? Yeah, firefighter. That team. Uh, that, it'd yeah. be interesting to see yeah. how that operates. They say they yeah. trap them in, in like a small room and you have to break a wall with just a screwdriver. Mm. I don't know how true that is, uh, mm. so we just have to wait for the If movie. you you just mm. punch the wall, right? Of course I'm that strong. Dumb. <laughs> one draws. <laughs> yeah, you a spoon, you want to use your fist. You pick <laughs> la, the wall using a spoon. I'll at least try. But I'll probably give up. La. I think uh, apparently there's a bell that you have to ring if you give up. Is it, I don't, there are so many myths now. So we just rely no, on No, no, I know this for sure. I know this for sure. So my brother in law just went through it. Mm. He rang the bell? No, he didn't ring the bell. But I think uh, he just decided he finished all the physical things. I think they start with a group of 50 or 40, yep. but they were only one four or five mm-hmm. at the end. So he made it through everything. Uh, big ups to him. He made it through everything, but at the end, of after he finished everything, uh, there was five people left, including him. And he just decided uh, he doesn't want to do it. Well, like a boss, man. You get it, but it's yeah. nah. so next. A, a, you know, a lot of people would say that, that it's an opportunity loss, but I think just the fact that he completed it was was already an achievement. So, big yeah. ups to him. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, so every day, whenever there's someone who quits, apparently they will ring a bell. Oh, so yeah. everybody can r- hear the bell and that means... It's someone's gone. Someone's gone. I think it's similar to Navy SEALs. I think you do that. Mm-hmm. Whenever you like give up, you couldn't survive the hell week or the training... You have to go and put your helmet down and ring the bell. Sp- yeah. Now, you are obviously, you've gone through national service mm. and you acted in a few army films. Mm-hmm. What's your thoughts on national service? I mean, mm. it's like one said, there were so many things that we were told before we go NS and stuff mm. like that. Mm. But a lot of my pres- a lot of those things that people say changed when, when I, I stepped in into BMT. And mm. to me... Although I don't think national sh- service should continue to be mandatory for everyone, mm. I do think that it's a very good thing for people to go to. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. And I think that, you know, once I ORD, I felt that I really had a lot of things to catch up on. And it's better to be so much more mature, to take responsibility in every single thing you do, to have a good routine, uh, to be more disciplined. Yeah, so I think end of the day, you're more mature than those that haven't go to army. Don't you think so? Yeah. You're almost like a different mm. person when you correct, are correct. Already, yeah. And what, and were you, what you knew, were you in anyway? I was uh, in the Air Force. Oh, you in Air Force? Yeah, right. Okay. Mm. What, what what do you have to do? I was a uh, MP. That means? So just do security. Uh. <laughs> 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 but not easy also because it's like shift work and uh, we are like under power. So you have to basically do uh, a lot okay, of stuff. Okay. Well, under power is the forever thing. Yeah, right? but, forever. But I also think that it's kind of cool that you get to meet different kinds of people from different backgrounds mm. and different racial ethnicity and all right. that. And you actually like, you kind of have, were forced to work together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, but then it comes naturally to work together with the people that you're with when you're actually spending 24 hours with them. Right, right, right. So to me, NS became like a big, BMT became like a big field day, you know, like, you mm. know, those camps that you go when you're in secondary school. Mm. It's just that, okay, you have to do it for three months. It was actually quite enjoyable. Like, mm. Whatever bad negative thoughts that people threw at me before going, as I was like, it was totally gone by that time because I got to see so many things and mm. and I enjoyed my national service actually. <laughs> <laughs> so what about yours? What about yours one? My my, I was in Pessy. Mm. Wait, what? Of, Why? Because I have some issues. Okay. Yeah, I was in Pessy, so uh, oh, breathing issues because <laughs> of the nose. <laughs> 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 this one is extra oxygen <laughs> to feed. So I mean, uh, so you chow king king uh, you. The thing is, I'm so used to being uh one of the fitters one, the fitter ones in because I started boxing before NS right. Mm. 
So um yeah, I was put into Pessy. So I am seen as uh not fit, mm. and obviously I'm very very fit mm. in Pessy. Mm. Yeah, that's why I say you joking. So ah. no, I didn't. So they just give me a present in Pessy. Oh. Uh, because I had some heart murmur thing, so oh. I'm supposed to be like slow and like blue in the lips because mm. I don't have enough oxygen. Oh, you're a bit slow. <coughs> yeah, in the head only. Uh, then uh, so I mean, I was forced to be with a group of people who are always trying to chowking or mm. trying to find reasons not to do anything. It's interesting how people, what, excuse sunlight? Excuse sunlight? Like, what the hell? Yeah, that is rubbish. Excuse grass, excuse, excuse sunlight. Grass. Like this. <laughs> There's also many things. So yeah. I get to meet with people who are physically ill Mm. Who are faking to be ill? Mm. Who are mentally ill? Mm. So and then, then we, there's you. Then there's me. Who's then everything else. And then we also we still have like IPPT. Then I had to run to point four. I'm always first. Mm. Without even Show trying. Show off. I'm always first. I'm, yeah, I mean like <laughs> without even trying. <laughs> without even trying. So and then yeah. there was one point of time my I still remember my buddy Peng Song. Mm. He, I, I uh. Is that the Peng who cooks? No 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 oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and then that, that was a big deal because he was dating one of the girls who was uh. What's the show with the briefcase? Uh, deal or no deal? Deal or no deal? Yeah, yes, so yes, he, yes. He, he was dating one of the girl number twenty one or something. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you remember <laughs> so the number? So, so, the <laughs> <laughs> so, but then he was like, "Wow!" So, while the IPT, I decided to run with him, and he finally passed. Mm. And uh, to me, that gave me a a lot, a, a huge meaning. Uh. Mm. Mm. And one of the person that I I know who is closest to Aloysius, right, mm. was, this, was this boy, was this guy. He's very small. Mm. He looks like Chicken Little. Wait. He's got the glasses and he's very... People always make fun of him. Mm. So one day, we all came back. He was trying to commit suicide. Huh. He's trying to jump down from the third floor. Whoa. So that's when shit got real. Then we realised... Then I went up. Not trying to save him, but I'm just trying to tell him, hey, what? come on, man, stop. And eventually, he went down. And we, for the first time, everybody just stay quiet and listen to his story. So um I went think down as he jumped down no, or <laughs> went down as it <laughs> went down safely. Oh so like I thought went down and then you already listen to the talk <laughs> from he, below. Oh, he so he did, bro. He <laughs> did. There's no story. He <laughs> did. <laughs> so we accompanied I accompanied him down and he said I think uh one of his parents is a Singaporean, one is Malaysian. Mm. So but he's been staying in Malaysia for the longest time, but he still need to come back and surf. Mm. But he's got no family in Singapore and then one of his parents passed away. So he's been staying during during no one his parents stayed passed away when he was growing up right okay and the other one left left him so he's left with his auntie staying in Malaysia but he still got a letter to serve NS so he went to NS so every weekend he we forgot that he's got no house to go back to <laughs> ah. okay so, so he stayed where does he go? three months in Tekong <laughs> <laughs> so we so we hang on are you allowed to do that. I don't know. So I mean, he stayed with the sergeants and all that. Because uh, okay. he's got no house in Singapore. How is he going to go back in JB all the time? So I guess the sergeants would wow. know his situation. Yeah, so uh. then we realised that, oh man, we've been making fun of him and it's it's just like, people really are struggling. That's yeah. the first time I listen and then, oh man, he's going to call me suicide. Then the next day, he's just like, this chirpy bird. Hey, and nobody can say he's annoying. He is a bit annoying, but mm. considering that whatever he's gone through, we, we let him be annoying. Uh. So mm. I think that was one of the best memories yeah. and experience to go through. It made me realise that not everybody has the same story as you. Correct. And we really don't know what people have to go through growing up. And sometimes you just break down talking about his mom who passed away or his dad who left him. Mm. It's quite sad. Mm. What about you, Maxi? Do you have any interesting stories from your NS life? Oh, okay. I can share one. I think when I was... Uh, as long as no one dies. Oh uh, No, nobody <laughs> died. <laughs> so... Why are you laughing about death? <laughs> when I was uh, like a... Sing Tiao, you know what's a Sing Tiao? No. A new bird. Uh. Uh-huh. Right, right. So you're on the job and uh, you're new basically. So we were doing some security check on like this uncle. So we basically had to use the metal detector to go over his body. So that time was the, I was a sentry and mm. my friend was doing the body scan. Then halfway the uncle got pissed off. Eh. Say, wow, you want to check what? You want to check everything? Is it? You want me to take off my pants for you to check? Or? And my friend got scared. <laughs> and uh, my friend let him Your pass, friend got eh. gun or what? No gun, only got the baton <laughs> 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 and the metal detector <laughs> scan. So I was like, wow, what happens if one day someone threatened me to take off his pants? What will I do? Smile. <laughs> oh my god. So I think I was towards the end when I was going to ORD already. Okay, the horn's coming out already. Yeah, yeah, because you owe Lao Chiao already. <laughs> Lao Chiao, Lao Chiao. Lao. Then got, I was doing this check on this uncle. Another uncle, he suddenly got pissed off. I don't know for what. And then he he gave me the golden line. 
what you want to check? You want me to take off my pants? Or? I said, take out lah. You take out, then he's scared. You don't take out. Then my friend went, saw this. This time I'm the checker. My friend is a sentry. My friend went and aimed the gun at him. <laughs> 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 you take out. You take out. <laughs> you take out. Man. <laughs> Got bomb, is it? <laughs> and that time, it was, uh, the, the period of time whereby they were sent like, sort of like, suicide bombers to yeah, check yeah, on your okay. security to make sure if you're up there. No. So we don't know like, wait, wait, if these guys are trying to be funny or could they be like, sent yeah, to we test never know our what, system. Yeah. Oh, so, so the S- out, uh. SAF does that sometimes to, yeah. to, to check? And that was like, this heightened period. So I was like, what the hell? Uh, then, okay lah. So then in here, we arrest him. Yeah, but turn out he's just a yeah. aggressive guy, but we have to do our job. Yeah, correct. You can't come to a camp and yeah. threaten to take off your pants and <laughs> test the system. <laughs> when you test the system, you get tested. Well, yeah. be, well, I would have just mention. taken off my pants either way. That's even a weapon. Oh, that's even, we, even without, without that one is a gun, you know. With, yeah, we, even without <laughs> them asking, that also <laughs> like, say anything to, to declare. Uh, yeah, I got a gun in my pants. <laughs> I will cuff your balls, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I will cuff you to my emplacement, bro. Hey, but, <laughs> but, well, you guys, you guys are probably in the army, and you guys fight guns, right? Yeah, yeah. And so we, in, we in the police, so we do fire guns. But mm. how cool was it to fire guns? I think that was that's that the coolest thing that I've done in national service firing off guns. I think throwing the grenade was better. Well, I don't have any grenades. I know. To throw. I'm just <laughs> rubbing it in your face. <laughs> I do remember though that when, when the first ever time that we fired a gun, so they they will say uh, they will say detail watch your front mm. and then uh, one shot fire right. Mm. So when the <laughs> the the target flipped, nobody wanted to fire, because uh-huh. it was the first time anyone has ever fired anything. Mm. But that's I think somebody was brave enough. You go. Pop, everybody just like <laughs> <laughs> a cool sweat then after that it's like damn I'm actually like holding something that can actually kill someone right, right, right. I know I went back to my bunk I pray sir. I remember <laughs> we had, we had, I remember my, my unit had a night night what is it night called shoot, night, night shoot. shoot correct so the thing the, the target right then there's a moving target la. Mm. yeah mm. and we uh, not just me so it, it was like a few of us then we were like oh moving target Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> intercom. Intercom. Oh, having yeah. a walk. Ooh. Then oh my god, then we are like, shit, what to do? Then Danji uh, just shoot uh, shoot uh. Shoot the thing or shoot your target? Shoot anything there. <laughs> 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 you ask your chick and he say shoot. Yeah, fire at will. Yeah, and then the, you know the guy I was telling you about, the one who gonna commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, what? Shit. <laughs> 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 Dude, that's oh happened to me also. He's really uh. asking for it. Uh. <laughs> I remember, but some 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 of the NS instructors are just straight mean. Uh, you mm. know what I mean? Like we actually had this one guy because my my squad was an A level squad, mm. and then somehow I don't know how the police mix it up. We had two IT guys with us, mm. and one of them was a bit slow la, to an mm. extent, mm. and his name is Elvis. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, <laughs> what a name! In the slow, Elvis has never passed any of his shooting. You always fail. Hobo shooter. Yeah, and because of <laughs> him, he pulls he pulls our uh, average down, right? Mm. So we we're aiming for best score and stuff like that. Until one day, my my instructor just went, "Your name Elvis. You shoot like fuck." <laughs> 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 and then and then the guy went like, "Sorry, what, sir?" And everybody was like, "Oh, he went to he went ar- to turn around." They like you miss anyway, what? Yeah, but but maybe it, this. But you don't know where the bullet will go yeah. to. That's the thing, right? Like he's. I don't know. Eventually, he did pass, but I don't know how. But I I think some of the instructors in NS were just too mean. Mm. I think that's something that we need to to cut out a bit. Like after hours of training, when they become mean, that's I think that's a bit too much. But I think mean, during training is is okay. I think mean is not a thing. Sometimes you get instructors who are younger than you, and perhaps for their whole life they have never like experienced having the power or authority, mm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. these are the people that will abuse it relentlessly. And I feel that, I don't know, maybe NS can have like a certain system or a proper guideline. What are the things you can do or not do? Have them thought on leadership rather than abuse of authority. But then the yeah. all those old birds would say that we they are not... Before, so yeah, that's they why say you're, you're not tough enough. How can you? Well, we were taught like this and we were treated like this. That's why we are tough. Oh, you see it that way? No, they mm. would see it that way. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't agree with that because I, mm. I, I don't think any yeah. any of those... I think in training, it's fine, right? You know what I mean? Like, if it's a 2.4, they fuck you up to motivate you or make you angry that you run faster, it's fine. Mm. 
but I think like those this after hours one the one that they read their bunks and all mm. that especially when you're asleep and and stuff like that mm. not that it wasn't fun sometimes it's fun especially when you're the one doing the raids mm. but at the other end of it you know it's also like i had a i had a bunk mate who wet his bed when when the raid happened <gasps> yeah because they would climb into the or the, the ocs would would climb onto our fi's would climb into our our bunks and then they would they would literally just turn over our bunks to to wake us up. Oh. You know, like, oh, surprise spot check or whatever. And, and then, so this guy, one of the, he was the bed beside me. So the FI actually stood on top of him like that when he was asleep. <laughs> and just shouted, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. She dude, kicks balls. Dude, wet his bed, man. Maybe it's a wet dream. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's scary. Well, that's a lot of uh, yeah. <laughs> liquids from. One week, well. <laughs> <laughs> so right, another story. You Do you guys have that rule in in Tekong where you can't jack off? Cannot lah. You go DB. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Correct or not? Yes, yeah, 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 I yeah. remember. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, don't jack off uh, because the base got stained. If you're gonna caught, you'll go DB. I know. That's what we always say. I don't think it's a myth or what. I know. Uh, when I first came into to to the my coil and and the instructor said that like. Do not jerk off, especially in the showers. Mm. We're just like, who would jerk off in the Slippery, shower? Yeah. Until one day, really, the yeah. freaking thing clog. What the? All come. Uh. <laughs> or is it all hand? No, it's the, like the, the cleaner is always a lot it's of like hand. The huh? cleaner say, it's all full of sticky stuff. All of you stay back this weekend. And I was like, damn it. But then I guess every, the weekend, people just take off again. <laughs> <laughs> just stay <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, there was... The females should be serving in this? No man, females are too delicate, too beautiful. I think it could be a volunteer thing. Like Malaysia, I think Malaysia does that. Is it? Yeah, yeah, Malaysia does it. Draw lots or something like that. Yeah, but I think theirs is only like two weeks. Yeah. BMT, it's mm. like a camp. Yeah, but speaking of Malaysia, mm. you guys are the boys to men crew is sort of, I mean not sort of, uh, really accepted and welcome in Malaysia, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, like super famous there. Mm. Before when you do promotions, were there only like fifty people, or less, right? Oh wow, we started. Well, it's almost a very sad story to say. Man. Yeah, I saw you I know, saw somebody posted it. Yeah. it was, you know, in the very first in the beginning, our road shows in Singapore. Wow, the people that only show up were like our friends, or like family, mm. and over in Malaysia, it's also like perhaps some of Jack News fans. There, there are nobody at our road show, but we basically had to learn everything and pick it up from scratch, and then we had to build our fan base. So whatever we have right now is, we basically build it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, uh, to go out to a crowd when there's only, like, maybe five people, ten, yeah. and you actually have to be super enthusiastic, like, there's some 5,000 people, it's so hard. It's so hard, man, it's so hard. How much has your life changed ever since A Boys to Men got big? Oh, this is always, like, a very popular question. I, I think I sort of grew along with it. Mm. So, I... I can't really see the change, but I sort of, like, be okay with it, yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're still, you're still, yeah. you're still you. No, I'm still myself. Yeah. Do your friends like you say you change and? Then yeah, sometimes I get that. Really? Yeah, but honestly, it's a bit sad when people tell me things like that. Um, I guess. Mm, people do change over time. Of course, you know. But you know, yeah, you stay the same all the time. I mean, you don't have to be famous to change. What right? people can, even if you're not, then people you still change. Um, but sometimes it hurts a bit like, to hear things right. like that. But. I always try my best to make them understand that I'm the, s- the same old me. You can always call me and mm-hmm. you'll be all right. Yeah. I guess now I know how you feel whenever I said you've changed. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> You're not a friend to begin with. Now, so I'm okay. not super affected. We've gone on for a bit now. Mm. Just just One um, half hours now. I just think. wrapping wow. things up. Uh, Maxi, do you... I mean, if, if there's anybody out there who wants to be an actor mm. or uh, wants to, to be in your craft and stuff like that you mm. know you you're you're someone that's gone through the ups and downs and you know the ins and outs mm. what would what would be the best advice you would give them don't allow anybody to say no to you always trust yourself believe in the process and dream man it's the dream that has carried me so far and never gave up even when i was there when when i wasn't there it has always been a constant fight and I feel that this fight is what I think all three of us have. My fight could be my next project. Your fight could be your next fight. It's a fight. Mm. So always believe yourself and fight a good fight. 
Brilliant. Mm. It's a good thing that you're a fighter also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm only. <laughs> what? Any, anything you want to ask, Max, before we wrap this up? Um, I will see you hashtag it bro, it bro. What does that mean? <laughs> and, and who starts that? Oh my goodness. Is it something dirty or what? <laughs> I swear to God that <laughs> I thought the whole show would begin with this question. <laughs> I can't believe that right now we are going to wrap it up with this. It has to be somewhere. It bro is uh, it's something like the F word. Mm. Oh. So the F word could be used in good and bad ways. But it bro is mostly in the good way. Uh-huh. Like you, next, let's say you you're gonna you won your fight, I'll say like eat bro. If you want to eat something like yeah, something nice, eat bro. Yeah, I'm trying to figure so, out and yeah. decode this eat bro thing because it's you, hard to say you used it in so many different scenarios. Is it, like is it correct, something correct? <laughs> and it has come to the stage whereby I become the eat bro himself, really. So you're the man, eat bro. So you're the I'm one who's the eat bro. bro right now. I'm hashtag eat bro. bro, check it out. You should yeah, make t shirts and start selling it yeah. also. I am, I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> It bro. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Now, Make, yeah. uh, do you have any, uh, do you want to tell us, you know, plug in some of your current projects and upcoming projects? Yeah, um, so, um, thanks for watching The One Man Show and uh, if you want to find out more about me, you can tune in to Channel 5 every day, Monday to Fridays, 8.30pm on Kin. Yep, Kin. Yeah, there. Follow him also on Instagram, Original Maxi, right? Yep. Yep, Original M-A-X-I Maxi. Mm. Then show him some love, blanja him some food, Eat bro. Uh, eat bro, eat bro, eat bro, eat <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, all right, and uh, thank you so much for coming right, down. Big appreciate thanks, it. Big thanks, big uh, thanks. Big thanks, inspiration. Brother, it. Thanks, yes. I hope you carry on with your craft, and uh, mm. we hope to see you fight one day. Yeah, and also hope to be a director. Oh, be awesome. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.